Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Bukakwadash. I'm from the prophets in Babylon, out of the Waco, Texas camp, under the branch of prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Atiyak Napash. I like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone who teach well and who woo well and are great examples to us brothers out here. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for the day. The deceiver, the deceived and the deceiver are his. And um, what inspired me to do this video was earlier this morning, I was looking at my phone and I was looking at some shorts and I saw um, this guy, he's pretty popular on YouTube named Geno Jennings. And it was a, a man who confronted uh, confronted Geno Jennings and um, was asking him, you know, or, or was kind of telling him, hey, look, you know, um, that the name of the Most High's name was, was Jehovah, but not the man that was, not, not the man, but Geno Jennings was implying that the name of of the Heavenly Father is is uh, Jehovah, and so uh, Lord willing, I hope this will be edifying. I'll try to make it as short as possible, but um, you know, Geno Jennings implied that it was you know his name was Jehovah. Um, but what we know that the name is Yahweh, you know, which means he is or he exists, you know, but he tried to sway the man into saying that it was, you know, that it was Jehovah and the man didn't agree. He didn't believe that the name was Jehovah. So, um, you know, we're going to go into it now. Um, before we go into some scriptures, I want to read something because uh, I looked up the, the letter J, and really, the letter J was really, um an extension of, of the letter I, so to speak. It was originally come from the letter I. And um, it was, it came, it, it was invented by in 1524. You know, up until 1524, there was no letter J in the alphabet. The letter J was originally the same letter as I, and the father of the letter J is Gian, Gian Giorgio Tresino, and he was an Italian author and a grammarian who lived from 1478 to 1550. So, you know, how could it, how could the Heavenly Father's name be Jehovah, you know? It, it really makes no sense. But, you know, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it makes no sense. You know, here it is, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Which, which proves right there, you know, and I know 
most of you sincere brothers out there who are who are learning this truth or already know this truth, you know, you know that he was the he was the father of you know that that was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So how could Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob not know the heavenly father's name, which was Yahweh Shah? See, the thing about it, you have to go, in order to know the true name of the Heavenly Father, you have to go into the Paleo Hebrew, you know. But see, you have deceivers and, you know, uh, deceivers like Geno Jennings and these other people out here, you know, the so-called call who call them call on the name of Yah and all that which they fail to realize they call on the names of Jehovah mm -hmm. or Yah or Yahuwah you know or you know whatever name that they come up with you know what I'm saying is not calling on the heavenly father which true name is Yahweh you know and at the same time these same people either call on, call his son, you know, um, Jesus or, or um, um, you know, uh, Yahusha, you know, which um, there's no you in, in the Hebrew alphabet. So it makes no sense to, 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 you know, call those names, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I say, um, I, I'm sloppy for the rant, but, you know, I want to go into it. And um, one, one scripture came to mind here. Mm -hmm. And it's in uh, mm -hmm. Job. Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So yeah, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai controls the deceived as well as the deceiver. So, you know, at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is dealing with certain men and few women who believe in those names with truth and sincerity. You know, there are some that do know the name. At the same time, the Lord is not dealing with these men, you know. But at the same time, there is some that the Lord is, is you know, truly dealing with in a righteous way you know, they call on those names, you know. And um, these other people out here, they're in the dark, you know. They're basically in the dark. And I go into it again. Um, let me get, let's see, Jeremiah 4 and 22. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, so, you know, these people are foolish. You know, the ones that call on, you know, Jehovah or, or whatever name that they call other than you know, call on the name of Jehovah or, you know, Jesus Christ, which, I, you know, personally, I hate calling on these names, but, at this, you know, for the sake of edifying the flock, I, you know, this, because that's, what's, that's what comes first. But, um, you, you know, these names are not the names of the Lord. Just to give you an example, okay. If your name is Joe Blow, 
you know, the name is Joe Blow. If if someone calls you John Doe, hey John Doe, are you gonna turn your head and look and see who the, who you know? If the, you're not gonna look around to see, you know, you probably look and see well who is John Doe, but you know your name is Joe Blow, so you're not gonna be <laughs> you you know they're not talking about you right. So why not the Heavenly Father feel the same way? If you're not calling on the true names of the Heavenly Father with truth and sincerity, he is not dealing with you. You know? So men like Gino Jennings, he's a deceiver. You know? And he may know the true names, but he will not call on them because, you know, for various reasons, you know? And it could be monetary, most likely, you know. And then again, the, the Lord may not may have it to the point to where he really don't know. Either way it goes, the Lord controls it, you know. So um, I'm going to another one in the book of uh, Hosea. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm up there. Hosea four and six. Hosea 4 and 6, for my people, my people are destroyed. People are the Israelites. Those who are who are Negro, uh, Latin, Latino, and the American Indian. Those are the Israelites. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Yeah. So uh, those are those two thirds out here who do not know the names and they're destroyed for lack of knowledge, you know? And a lot of them are calling on the names of Jehovah and and, and Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Because they, been, you know, the Lord is not dealing with them, you know? So, Lord willing, I hope this was edifying to you brothers and you few sisters to know that, and to be thankful that, you know, you, you true, sincere brothers and few sisters out there to to be very thankful to know the names, to, to call on the names of the Heavenly Father, which is what their true name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. So, you know, right there, you know, being, that, that's a lot to be thankful for, you know? And to pray that the Lord is dealing with you, you know what I'm saying? So you can grow in this knowledge and get to know more about the Heavenly Father and the Son, you know, and what his plans for the future are, you know. And Lord willing, you know, those who are the elect will be a part of that, you know. And eventually, those who lack the knowledge, they'll be too, but, you know, it'll be later on down the line because those who lack this knowledge, are going to be destroyed, you know, on this side, but they'll be brought back and being truth and righteousness and their, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the laws will be in their inward parts. So again, Lord willing, I hope this was edifying. 
Once again, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak Radash. Until the next time, I say Shalom.